my title is uh, enrollment manager, so I am in charge of all the recruitment um, and admissions. So I go into the grade schools, the Catholic grade schools in the city, and then I am also in charge of all the recruitment events. So our feature rocket nights, our Discover Assumption Days, the open houses, any event that involves future rockets I am in charge of. So I plan and organize those events. And the video is a large part of that process because it's what um, we use when we take on our recruitment visits. And typically they have just been the students sitting down talking about their experience um, as opposed to something fun and different. Last year was the first year with the lift up that we really went out of the box and did something differently. And it really uh, was successful because we then ask the students to, the kids that I talk to, we ask them to fill out a worksheet about like kind of like a seek and find, saying how many different clubs and activities can you, um, can you find within the video and then bring that to open house. So it was kind of a tool to be used to later bring them or guide them back to open house. So the bar was kind of raised uh, for us again this year because we had such a successful video last year. So we uh, had, and we are starting over with a new marketing theme, which is why we're doing a new video for this year. Uh, typically, we wouldn't do one for every single year, but it was so successful. And with a the new theme, we are um, trying to get that idea out there so we're gonna be we just redid one so uh, do you have a marketing theme that then drives your campaign for the whole year is that the idea yes yes um, and typically that will uh, carry over three different years so our last theme that was with the lip dub was it's all about you and then it we created it's all about you Picasso for the artist uh, it's all about you um, oh gosh there were lots of different ones um, rocket scientist for the science kids. So uh, that had been used for three years. Um, so now we're moving over to um, it's more than you can imagine. Uh, it's really great. So you involve the kids in the process, which is part of the really yes. cool part about the video. Um, do they start in the process from the beginning to even drive like what that message might be? Or is that something you then bring to them after the faculty decides on it? Uh, we came up with the idea of what we were going to do. And then I worked with a group of students to kind of see what direction they wanted to take it. Because really when they have the ownership over it, that's when it's so successful. So using their ideas and their um, just carrying out what they see is going to be um, as successful really helps us because it's the seventh and eighth grade girls that six seventh and eighth grade girls really that we're targeting and who knows better than those who were just there. Um, so I worked with a group of students who I called my segment captains and um, from there I broke down the song and gave each one of them a little bit of a song and they were to choreograph that song. So really I just gave them the tools, I gave them the lyrics that they were in charge of and uh, what I wanted to see. So the different activities or clubs that were going to be in their space and from there they did all of it. They choreographed it, they uh, came up with the dances or what, how each club was going to be represented. So they organized the props. They they just really ran with it. I, so do they it, get credit for this in any way? Or is this just kind of like, this is for the greater good of the community and we love doing it? Yes, it's just for, you know, they know the benefits of recruiting. We talk about at the beginning and every year, we talk about how every student, every faculty member is a recruiter because word of mouth is the best way to talk about your school and to gain students. And really giving them this opportunity to be a part of something, they're going to go out and they're going to tell every 7th and 8th grader, 6th, 7th, 8th grader that they know about the experience and how cool it was to be a part of the lip dub or how neat it was to be you know, a segment captain and get to decide what was going in the video. And even if they appeared for two seconds, they were involved. You know, they they owned it and they say, you know, they'll pause it on that part and say, you know, there I am. Yeah. But it's as a whole uh, and just builds community within the school. That is great. So then talk to me, too, because you kind of just hit on it about your distribution methods. Um, we actually in August of last year and then last week. Uh, we had an hour and a half over two days. So to practice on the first day and then film the next day. Um, a lot of people think that we took 
several days off of school to do this. Yeah. And that's, that's probably the first myth uh, that I, I try to bust because really we did it an hour and a half and which I think is phenomenal in itself. Um, and then I, I go into the grade school as part of my job is going into the grade schools to kind of recruit those kids to come, which is the purpose of the video. That's why we created it to begin with. And we were using that tool on those recruitment visits um, to just show them who we were because we were talking about a lot about the academics and the technology that we're using because we're going to the one-to-one -one, um, tablets. So we wanted, even though we were talking a lot about, about the tablets and the academic side of who we are, we wanted them to see these grade school kids for them to see who we are as a community. So that was really the purpose of the video. So the week before I started going into the schools, we had an all school assembly that was already planned and uh, we just surprised our student body. We were all in the gym together already for this um, different activity and we surprised them and showed them the video then. Um, I didn't even have to tell them to post it to Facebook. They all went home and just did it anyway. Uh, we kind of just left it up to them. We we said, we're really proud of it. We would love to see, you know, 5,000 hits within 24 hours. Um, we got over 10,000 hits, which doubled what we had expected. Um, and it was just so exciting. And just to know that they were so proud of it made it that much better. It was used for a recruitment tool, but what it did for our community as a whole was beyond anything that I could have imagined. Um, it really gave the kids an opportunity, especially those freshmen who have just started a week ago. Um, it gave them the opportunity to work with upper class women in something fun and exciting, and they can say that they've been a part of. And the teachers really got involved, and the faculty and staff members really got involved. So to have everybody working for the common goal um, of getting these younger kids and just showing them really who we are which is what is so special and then after we released the video the number of alumni who contacted us was overwhelming and I have I think 17 pages of comments that were sent to us about how um, just inspired they were and how exciting and how it brought back so many memories of you know grads from the 70s and 80s and 90s um, just so excited to see it, it still have the same type of community. Do you see a significant increase at all in like your numbers for showing up for open house and or was there a significant, you know, ROI for your enrollment numbers? Uh, we, we did see a, uh, an increase in numbers for open house. Um, it's hard to tell with our open houses truly how many uh, people we get, but it was, we have heard the busiest one that we've ever had. Um, they were much more interactive this year, uh, and a lot of kids wanted to come back to bring that that worksheet with them about the lift up. So they wanted to make sure that they could turn that in and get the little extra incentive for turning that in. Um, and overall, we were up our freshman class about fifty students this year. Oh so um, we were very very excited. Um, well, probably about 25 to 30 students um, when it breaks it down from last year's freshman class. Um, so we definitely are up in numbers. We were up in um, the tests that they take. We were up in high school placement tests um, over about 50 kids. So it's very exciting, and uh, we hope to continue to grow but um, maintain a good a good class size as well. Yeah, that's the important thing, right? You, like you mentioned at the beginning, most of it's even about community involvement and that you know sense of like ownership about what you do in your own community walls. And so whether you increase by 30, which is phenomenal in and of itself, but also having that you know team feeling of I belong to this school and I'm proud to say that I do is um, a really rewarding piece, I'm sure. So yeah, that's it's great. Just to see the carry kids that and see the kids carry that enthusiasm um, throughout the whole school year because they go back to it and they see it and they watch it again and it still gives me chills and I get tears in my eyes every time I watch it. Uh, mm -hmm. And a lot of people ask me if I ever got sick of the song because I had to show it, you know, five, yeah. seven times a day. And you know what? I hear it on the radio now, and I still get chills, and I watch it again, and I see things differently than the first time I watched it, as opposed to the hundredth time I watched it. So it really, I think it's going to be something that really carries over. We used it at our uh, reunion weekend this past uh, this past uh, June, and uh, got the alum really involved in it, and uh, they were really excited to see it. So.